Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now let's start with some full disclosure. There'll be a couple of breaks, I imagine, in this video as I stop to blow my nose and you don't want to watch that happening at the moment. Um, now, this puzzle comes in um, from Jessica Shaham, who I accidentally gave the name subtitle at the beginning of the video. It's uh, and who embraced it. It's astonishing that other people aren't called subtitle because it's an easy mistake for me to make with the uh, screens at the beginning of the video. But Jessica was very good about it and has become subtitle as a result. Um, Jessica also wrote to us recently and said that she'd been looking for a new direction and had take, taken inspiration from Simon and myself and decided to train as an accountant. Um, and I'm... Well, hats off to her for giving that a go. Um, I'm not sure that we're here to inspire people to become accountants. It's, it's not something we've been looking to achieve. Um, but it is a rewarding career in many ways. So good luck to you, Jessica. I hope it goes very well. But happily, she is still constructing Sudokus. And that's good news. Now, this one is called Relax Your Two Tenths, which is a a classic gag and one that I therefore heartily approve of, although it does look awfully like a Christmas tree, which um, something I've been involved in decorating today. So excellent. Um, actually, Jessica once sent us a menorah around this time, so maybe a Christmas tree wouldn't be her, uh, her um, item of choice for the season. But anyway, this is called relax your two tents and you can see how the two main areas look like tents and uh, we'll see how this solves now what else have we got going on well we've got um, we've postponed a bit the next ver the next um, foray into Bubba is you uh, I think Simon has been feeling a bit unwell as well <laughs> and I really don't want to be doing it at the moment so we're putting that off till maybe the beginning, maybe the middle of the week, uh, next week. So sorry about that. You can, of course, occupy yourself with our Patreon reward uh, puzzles, the CTC Mexican standoff. We've been getting loads of entries. They, they're not simple puzzles, but there are only three of them and then a, a little meta to tie them together. So it really is manageable if you've been watching our Sudoku on the various puzzle types recently. Um, also, of course, you can just educate yourself by watching the gas videos like yesterday's. Uh, loads of tips in those for bringing on your variant Sudoku skills. And of course, you can always try our apps, which are available on the links under the video. Now, also there, you can get our merchandise. That has been flying out of the store. I have to assume that that is Christmas related. We have been um, selling more items per day than ever before. So, there are all sorts of things there. We've got, what is this? A Cracking the Cryptic mug, for instance, which says old bobbins on the back, just like the hat that I will occasionally put on when I've made a mistake. Um, there are t-shirts and hoodies and ones, baby onesies and uh, all sorts of stuff. Do have a look at the merchandise. But anyway, let's have a look at this puzzle. This is the first link under the video. You can link to all the other things we do down there. And yes, it's got, well, it's got several sets of rules, although some of them are only used a little. So first of all, thermos along the thermometers, digits increase from the bulb to the end. So that will be smaller than that, will be smaller than that, will be smaller than that. Now, the green lines are German whisper lines, and that means that any two digits connected by a green line, like those two that are neighbouring on it, must have a difference of at least five. Then we have a black dot and its connected cells must have a ratio of one to two and a white dot which must connect consecutive numbers. And that's it. Uh, there's no negative constraints on the dots. So there are plenty of others probably not marked in the puzzle. And do feel free to give it a go on the link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Um, and now I have to work out where we get cracking. Let's get cracking with this line, maybe. Now, five can never appear on a German whisper line because um, it can't have a neighbor that's five away from it. Zero and ten are the nearest two numbers. So if five's not on the line, it's in one of these two cells in the row. Now, what else does that tell us? Okay. 
This isn't conclusive, I'm afraid, but four and six are also constrained. They can't be in these cells, which is quite interesting. And that's because if a four was here, for instance, the only digit it can see on a German whisper line is nine. And if there was a four there, that would require nines on both sides, which would see each other. So that's impossible. Four and six, therefore, can't be in the middle here. Therefore, one of them, again, could be in the white cells off the end, but one of them must be on one end of this line. And I can tell you that both of them are not on ends of the line, because once you start putting digits on a line, say we put four there, that's a low number in that it's lower than five, then this will have to be a high number a high number, so nine in fact, then that would have to be a low number below five, that would be high. They alternate all the way along, and that means these two are the same height or lowness. They can't be four and six. So four and four or six is outside with five, and one of these is high. Right, I don't know which is high and which is low. I'm going to mark cells as purple and green because I do know they alternate. If we were to put four on one end, then the four low digits would be here, four, three, two, and one. If we were to put six on one end, say the same end, then six, seven, eight, nine would be there. But it doesn't really take us very far into the puzzle. So probably going to have to look at the, the thermos to make any significant progress here. Um, and I'm not sure quite how to look at the thermos to do this. These thermos are only four cells long or three, and that's not really very, very helpful. Here, ah, oh, does this have to be a low digit? Yes, it can, well, it could be five. Then you could have six and seven there, seven and eight there, eight and nine there. Not quite sure what that's telling us about this line that's under there. These must be at least four and five, I suppose. Maybe I do need to think more about this line, which must have four or six on one end. Let's say that was this end. Then if that's four, that's nine. If that's nine, oh, three could be at that end with an eight there. I, yeah, I don't think this gets itself filled in in any way by knowing that one of these difficult digits of four and six is at one end. These lines, they don't look all that helpful to me, but something must be. Okay, every cell in this ah, every cell in this box, and I should have spotted this a lot earlier, has got a thermo. And only one of them is an end. Now if a nine appears on a thermometer, it must be on the end. So that is where nine goes. Right. Now we know those are high. And that's low. So I'm using blue for low, like cold temperatures, and orange for high, like hot ones. Um it's not very conclusive, to be fair, in terms of any digits, but that's a nine. Now, where does one go in this box? One, just like nine, must always be on a tip. One must always be on a bulb if it's on a thermo. So let's put one there in one of those two cells. Um, it's quite likely to be there. Uh, is it worth thinking about where eight goes? Not quite. Eight could go there or there, which is quite interesting, but not, again, very conclusive. Now, in either case, the thermometer in question will finish with a nine. But they're not seeing the same cell anywhere, as far as I can see. Is there anything significant about those possible positions for nines? It doesn't seem like it to me. So, what am I missing now? One is on one of those. Two could be anywhere there or there, or indeed on one of those bulbs. 
That's really uninteresting. This can't be 9. So if it's high, it's 8 or 7. It can't be 6 because it would be flanked by 1s. Um, if it's 7, it's got 1 and 2 around it. 6 would be, it would, has to be next to 1, so it would then go 6, 1, 7, 2. That would be 3, and this would be 9 and 8. I don't know, that's not very, it's not powerful enough to, to make a move, is it? Surely it's not thinking about 5s again that matters, is it? 5 could be anywhere there in the central box. The thermometers just aren't long enough to rule five out of any cells at all. So I don't think that's happening. Um, right, I'm going to take a quick pause to blow my nose. There we go. And uh, now, come on, think of something that's useful here. These are the same height or lowness because of the alternating nature here. Now, surely they're both going to be low. How could they both be high? I suppose if that was six and seven. Yeah, this wouldn't work. That's good. The only way these could both be, the, sorry, these two could both be high. They're on a whisper line, so they're not five. If they were both high, they would be six and seven. Now that would, on the surface, be okay, because those would be seven and eight. These would be eight and nine, and that's manageable. However, for those to be 6 and 7, this would have to be, well, this would have to be 1, and that's nonsense. So these are low. And now we know the alternation of colours up here. Those are low as well. These ones are high. Actually, that one's low as well. So now these three are from 1, 2, 3, and 4. That one can't be a 4 because its two surrounds see each other. But these could be as long as 9 can be there and there, or in those two cells, and it can at the moment. Um, now this is high, that's high. Oh, 5 now can't be in any of these cells, because these bottom ones are on the whisper line. Um, and it can't be... Oh, this is lower than all of those 3 by thermo. Oh, no, then I've got something wrong. Yes, I've got everything wrong because I started marking everything as though the thermos were whisper lines, because I'm an umpty. And they're not. This is the whisper line, so that's high, and that's all we've got, and that's useless. No, this is low, because it's lower than these two low numbers. That is something. This one we don't know about, but this is one or two, because these have to be higher. And although they could be three and four, there's no possibility to allow a 3 there. So these are from 2, 3, and 4. This, therefore, sees at least a 3. This is now 8 or 9. Now that's fine for the thermo. There's no problem there. These are just higher than 2 at a minimum, so they're not really doing anything for us. And I'm not sure if we've learnt much well, for this to be a 2, then we have 3, 4 in a pair there, 9 here. What does that mean? 9 would end up being in one of those positions. Ah! Ah! Yes, 8 can't be here now, because that would put a 9 here and kill that cell. That's nice. So that's not where 8 is. 8 in the middle box is now here. And we know that 8 is high, so that number connected on the green is low. And that makes up the rest of 1, 2, 3, 4 in the top box. So everything else is from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now that's really relevant here. Oh, well, yes, that's good here because that's now a high number, and this one is a low number. So that is lower, 
This is where 9 goes, which is obviously higher than 8. Um, this is 1, 2, 3, or 4. I don't... Well, it's not 1 because it's not on the bulb. So therefore, this isn't 6. Um, this is now lower than 2, 3, or 4. This can be plenty of possibilities. Still haven't made any impact on where 2 is in box 5. Got the parities of these German whisper lines and this one, but not this yet. <clears throat> now, it's quite difficult for this to be a high number, and that's because that would make both of these higher still. If this was high, it would have to be 6 or 7 to allow numbers there. Since this can't be 1, it would be 7, 2. This would be 1. Ah, and neither of... Yeah, if this was high, it won't work. And I'll just show you why. If that was high, that would be high. Um... And which of these could be 6? And the answer is none of them, because they would need a 1 next to them on the German whisper line. That can't be 1, and actually that can't be 1, although I've got it pencil marked there. We know that 1's in one of those two positions. So I shouldn't have it pencil marked. I can take out those. They can't be high. They must be low. That's high. Unfortunately, of course, this is the slightly less helpful way round. This is now maybe more likely to be a 1 than I thought before. This one is 7 or 8. It can't be 6 because that would need two 1s either side. It can't be 9 because we've got a 9 there. In fact, we're going to have to have a 9 in one of those two. It can't be there. It's not the end of a thermo. Now, where are the other two high digits? Ah, where are the other two high digits in this row? Well, in this box. Now, they're not there. That's not high. Could be a 5, but it's not 6 or 7, because if it was even 6, both of those would have to be 7, both of those 8, both of those 9, which is crazy nonsense. Um, so it's not 6 or 7. That one can be. But one of these, at least, and maybe two of them, are six or seven. Now, that is pushing one of these lines a bit. Say that was six or seven. That's seven or eight. That's eight or nine. And they both become high. Which feels quite interesting. Maybe not enough. Now we've got three low there, so can that really be the fourth low in the column? That would make this high, wouldn't it? Six or seven there, seven or eight there. I'm going to have to blow my nose. I really hope to recover from what is either a heavy cold or a light flu soon. Uh, sorry if it makes my voice even more nasal than usual. Now, I was just considering if that was high because that was low, Six or seven there. Seven or eight there would form a pair with that. Eight or nine there. I don't quite know how, how I can conclude that that doesn't work. Now this can't be as much as eight because of that eight, nine. Oh, well, we've had eight anyway. Um... So that can't be nine, stupid. Uh, no, nope, don't know what to do there. Ah, this can't be eight. So, four, five, six, or seven there. Three, four, five, or six there. Not getting very far with this. I feel like the deductions we've made have been useful, but I may have been missing some general large-scale play. Um, is it to do with this line? 
What is it to do with the digits? I've got nine there, eight. That could be eight. Eight along here. Can't be in those cells, obviously. I don't know. It's not. Oh, that can't be four anymore because that's not possible to be nine. That can't be four, and that can't be four. So actually, this is a one, two, three, triple. Oh, and one can't be there, so we know which one is a one. It's that one. This now, ah, that's got interesting. This can't be one, two, or three. Now, I think we worked out... No, maybe I didn't quite work out that it can't be high. I think I worked out that it certainly can't be more than six, but this is giving us quite high numbers as we go down the thermos. Even here, can't be an eight. Ah, lovely, lovely, can't be an eight there. That's really important that this can't be an eight. It can't be an eight because eight there would put nine here and kill this cell. This cell is becoming very important. And that's given us a five, six, seven triple in this central box which wasn't how I was expecting to get here, but that makes that a four. This can't be a four. This now can't be a four. And in fact, this is a three, two pair. Yes, three and two like that. So we've got a five, six, seven triple, very surprisingly emerging there. These have to be three of the numbers from six, seven and eight below it. Come on, what else do I know? I've got to get in. Ah, I've got to get a second one or two into the central column. Yes, can't put it there because there's two cells before it on the thermo. So it's here. So green is blue in this puzzle. And purple is orange. There we go. So one or two must be here. Oh, that's clever. Uh, these are low numbers and they can't be four, remember? because they would see two nines. So the four's on the outside. Oh, hang on, this has gone badly wrong. No, they're not two or three, they're one, two or three. And in fact, one of them is a one because six has to be on one end or the other. So that's not a one, that's two. So the numbers next to two, ah, oh, this one has to be a seven because it can't be eight or nine. This is eight or nine instead. Um, So six one can still be either end. And the other end of the line is eight or nine. Right, seven there takes seven out of some cells it sees. Um, so that two has pushed a one unhelpfully into that cell. Oh, this one can't be a four because it's touching an eight. So four is definitely in one of these two. Not that helpful. That can't be a two. One, three, four, two. So this is a high number. Oh no, it could be a five. Five, six, or seven. So we can roll that up the line. Six, seven, or eight, then seven, eight, or nine. That's now a weird six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. And everything else ah, is lower than six. So this one in particular is three, four or five with two, three or four there. I can color that. Uh, two of those are high, remember, six and seven. That, oh yes, seven is not in those cells. So this is a six, eight, nine triple. That becomes five. That's not five and that's not five. Seven, eight, nine triple in the row. This is six. Isn't this pretty? Six comes out of there. Six comes out of those. That's a five, seven, eight, nine triple. I mean, the other way of noticing that is that is three or four, because one of those is there, the other has to be somewhere. One in this box is there, that's three or four. One, two or three there, and that's forming a triple with this and this. 
So that's not a three, and that's not a four. Oh, this one is seen by three and two. That's probably been available for ages. That fixes this and this. Now we know where six goes. I uh, don't know about the eight, nine pair, but that can't be one anymore. This can't be three. This can't be six. So that's a seven, eight pair. Five and six go on the outsides of the middle row. Seven, eight, nine, one has to go in row eight somewhere. It's got to be there, I reckon. That's going to put a one on one of those cells. We might get to the crop key dots at some point. That can't be three. So there's a four or five pair and this becomes two. Doesn't immediately do much. Puts two in one of those. In fact, that is from two, three or four. Could be two. That two, three pair. I think I've looked at that before. One of those is two. No, that's not new news. That's a seven, eight, nine triple, so that's six. That's not six, so that's not seven. So one of those, yeah, I knew that. One of those is seven. This is five, because it's on the thermo below a six. So that unwinds the whole set there, which doesn't do much else. Take seven out of that cell. Ah, and this can't be eight, nine. Yes, we need a six in the central column. So it's there. That's a five. Could have done that from that earlier. I'm blaming any slowness, anything you've been shouting at. I'm ill, remember? It's not fair to criticise me. Probably is. Um, eight, nine pair there. I mean, I'm sure, as I say, it's not fair to criticise me. I'm missing all sorts of things. Right, again, this can't be more than seven. That can't be six. So four or five there. One of these external cells is a four, which is quite interesting because that's forming an X-wing with a pair down here. So that's where the fours are in the outside. This can't be a four. And this is where four is in row eight thanks to the magic of X-Wings. Um, this can't be one or two. Oh, this can't be six, seven or five. So that's four or eight. This is, well, there's quite a lot of possibilities, but not for that one. Um, I expect I'm just missing nine, two, three, one. Ooh, five has to be in one of those two cells in the column, which is odd. Well, surprising, but not possibly. Let's put in the possibilities there. Oh, it can't be three. Ah, it can't be three because of that two, three pair. And therefore this can't be four. And that's eight. So seven there, eight there. This now must be a two to be next to a seven. That has to be a three. That eight is ruled out of there. Seven is ruled out of there. It's four or five, that's a pair. So we get a three here. Seven, eight or nine here in a dark. Oh, eight is looking at that cell. It's seven. This has become a three in the column and we've got a four, five, six triple at the top. That can't be seven. So there's a five, six pair there. That must be four. One, three down here. This is a two, four, nine triple along here. Four must be there with five the other side. That fixes six and five. The five on the thermo makes that four and that not four. That puts four there, five there. Um, we've got six, seven pair at the end of this row. So that's five. Is this obvious? Probably is. I don't know. Um, eight, nine pair. That's not been resolved. This two, that eight. Am I missing a whisper thing? I don't think I am there. Uh, that's become a two. That's become a four. So that's a five. 
one of these is a seven. I don't know which. Um, four is in one of those two cells. Wow, I'm going to have to use these dots, of course. Uh, now, that can't have a 1, 2, 4 on it, so it must be a 3, 6 pair. Excellent. 7, 6 there. 9 here. And a 2, 4 pair. That's where 8 goes in the column. That's not 8. Um, now, this... Oh, yeah, the 4, 6, 5 triple's been done. This is going to have to have an even number on it as it's a consecutive pair and that even number cannot be four six or eight so it is going to be a two and it's going to go with a three and we can see which way around they are from the bottom of the grid i think we're getting on towards a solution here um i just need to keep my head and find it that eight nine yes that one three pair has been resolved these are from 7, 8, or 9, and that's giving me a triple in this row. That is 1 or 2, thanks to that. And this is, in fact, a 1, thanks to that triple. It sees all the other small numbers in its box. So that's 2, that's 1. The 2 fixes 3 and 2 here. The 3 fixes 3 and 6 over here. This 4, 2 pair has been resolved. That decides 4 at the top. This is either 7 or 9. I'm still not sure which. And in fact, that's part of a 7, 8, 9 triple as well. So, now I've used all the clues, haven't I? Oh, all the markings. Ah, this one is important. It's touching a 4. There we go. I hadn't quite used them all. So that is probably going to resolve the rest, which all have begun to look a bit like a deadly pattern to me. Um, this is now a nine. Yes, that fixes that triple. This pair is resolved. That's a really, really elegant puzzle, as always, from Jessica. Lovely stuff. And there we go. And the intelligence behind that puzzle is why Jessica will probably make a very good accountant. Um, it's been really enjoyable and a, a lovely puzzle to do this evening. Sorry if I've been struggling through it a bit health-wise, um, but there we go. Sometimes this kind of stuff happens, and uh, I'm sure I'll be well again in a day or two. But thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.